Hey guys, welcome back to Fireland Hill. My name is Matt. This morning, I'm going to show you guys the difference between the Wolfridge bagger and the Amish bundler. So right here to my right is the Wolfridge uh, bagging station. This thing is a very, very simple design, but yet very, very productive. Um, it's got a rotating bucket with handles on the bottom here. Um, this is one cubic uh, foot, so you throw the wood in there, you throw your bag over top, you tip it down, use the stand there to tie the bag and it's done to my left over here is the amish uh, manual bundler um, this right here is a very simple design again very effective um, you're just using a cheaper way of bagging the firewood this way versus this way you have anywhere from 50 to 70 cents in this bag versus three to four cents per bundle with the uh the wrap unless you're getting into um, flyers then you're going to add another three to five cents to there so still you're less than 10 cents per bundle with a wrapping bundler so here's what we're going to do i have the uh, amish bundler here and the wood fridge bagging session right here i have a uh, ibc tote of poplar here and we're going to do some bundles and some bags and see how fast it takes to uh, do each one now some things i want to point out before we get started the downside to a bundler, in my opinion, is that you kind of have to puzzle piece the pieces together if you want to make a uniform bundle. You could throw them in there and they could be all wild, um, but then when you're wrapping them, it doesn't wrap as tight and, and they can come loose. With the bagging station, you throw that stuff in there and you let it ride. There's, there's no thinking about it. There's no puzzle piecing together. It's uh, very, very simple that way. I'm going to start with the Amish bundler first. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set a timer on my phone and I'm going to complete a bundle and I'm going to set it on the ground. And then I'm going to hit time and that's how I'm going to uh, time this. I'm going to do the same thing over at the Woodfridge bagger. I'm going to bag it, tie it, and I'm put it on the ground and hit stop. The well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to check because it's been raining um, and I haven't used this in a couple weeks at least. So I just want to make sure this wrap is tight and it's not so another disadvantage of a bundler in my opinion is the wrap like likes to loosen and it could be from the sun it can be from uh the rain or it can be just from as this uh wrap's being used the diameter of the uh, wrap itself gets smaller so you have to tighten it with this bolt here all right so i got my uh wrench this is an inch and a half size wrench get on there I'm going to tighten it down. All right, let's see how tight we are now. Still got to tighten. Now, if I was like putting a wrap on here and I was going all the way through the wrap, it wouldn't be hard to adjust as we go because I could see it. Um, but this is definitely a disadvantage if you let it sit over time um, because it does make a big difference when you're wrapping. You do not want to wrap loose wraps. All right, we'll get, tighten it a little bit more. We should be good. You basically want to get this so tight that it's kind of hard to uh, pull when handed. You kind of almost need a hand on here just to twist it to get started. All right, I think we'll be good there. All right, here we go, guys. To try to get as close to a cubic foot on both of them um, the wolf ridge makes it easy to calculate that because you just fill it up uh, but it's kind of hard in the bundler just because well, actually you know what i have a mark here so it shouldn't be hard to figure out piece 
see I'm kind of having a puzzle piece together. All right, We're good there. One, two, three, four. So I usually do four. I don't use a knife anymore. I just punch through it, pick it up, put it down. So it was right at 13, right at 13 seconds when I put it down. We're gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna pull from the IBC tote into the Wolfridge bagger, throw the bag on, tie it, put it on the ground, press time. All right, here we go. What I like about this too is you can angle this down and it just makes it kind of like use gravity to sit and get tight in there. I just put one more in there just because I can. Those bags broke. Double knot. Stop. So what we have here is one minute and 10 seconds. So this is what each bundle looks like. This is the bundler and this is the bagger. You can see this sits there and kind of loose. Um, and honestly, I think I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Um, obviously the size difference, but I, I do think I actually put more in the bundle than I did the bag this time. Um, so let's rerun this and try it again. I'm going to count the pieces um, to make sure we're even there and we'll try it that way. Another thing to point out is on a commercial scale or if you just do a lot of bundles, uh, the good thing about the bagger is the bagger allows you to fill it as much as it can. It can't go no more. So you would you wouldn't be using more wood on certain bundles like I did on this one. So you can regulate that better with the bagger. That's just another thing to point out. So I don't think one is going to cut it, guys. Let's do another bundle. That way you can kind of get an average. Um, like, like before, I'm going to hit start, put it down, start bundling. I'm going to count nine pieces this time so I can keep it even. Um, and then we're good from there. All right, time started. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So these are the big piece I was telling you about. Nine. And guys, my my crocs are squeaking because it's wet out here, guys. I'm not I'm not putting on the on the YouTube. <laughs> All right. One, two, three, four. See, that was way faster. That was uh, a minute, or not a minute, that was 57 seconds once I got to it. Right here. It was actually 56 when I was done, but like I said, I have to take my glove off and, and hit this timer. So, 57 seconds for this bundle. Let's go over to the bagger and see what we can do there. All right, here we go, guys. Hitting the timer. Nine pieces. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. All right, I'll add these after the fact. 
some of these pieces are definitely bigger. Um, We're just gonna do eight guys because this these are a lot bigger pieces. So I can get this thing in there. There we go. All right, that was a minute and 21 seconds. Wow. So that was a minute and 21 seconds. So we definitely have a, a big difference each round. I guess it's safe to say that it just really depends on, like for example, the, what I struggled with on this bundle or this bag was getting the strings. They were kept slipping out of my hands. Also, the wood that I have here is a lot bigger pieces than the wood I bundled. Let's look at this. So this is the second bundle here. You could see I have it's kind of small amount of wood there. And there's that wood right there which I think there's a little bit more there. Um, and it doesn't help that I have this extra skin right here. But I guess really it's personal preference i don't think you could ever get a good average unless you had all the same wood and tested it that way um but then again that bag that i have right there it broke so that was an issue with this bag right here i couldn't pull the string to get it tight um because of my gloves so i'd have to maybe not wear gloves when bagging well i did two bundles and got completely different numbers both times so i can't really give you a definitive answer on this um me personally, I think the bagger is easier, um, but you have the downside of having to buy bags. Also, you have to raise your price, right? Because unless you just want to eat the cost of the bags. Both these pieces of equipment cost me right around 700 bucks. So they're even Stevens on that platform. Um, the bundle works, the bagger works, they both do the same thing. Um, just one, I feel like it's faster. And one big advantage about the bagger versus the bundler is the bagger throws the, the uh, bag on the ground for you so there's no lifting whereas with the bundler you have to lift it out and after lifting 30 40 bundles um 20 pounds a piece you're going to get sore from that i mean uh it, those bundles are, are not very light so that is another advantage i think of the bagger if i was going to start over and buy one it would definitely be the bagger um 100 like i said the only the only hurdle i had to get over was bags i have a buddy that buys them in bulk like 13,000 at a time so he can give me a good price at 40 40 cents a bag so that's settled um i'm gonna stick with the bag another another point to point out is uh sadie my wife loves this bagger she can bag all day long and she's good she's good with it she's happy with it she doesn't fuck like she's struggling with a bundler she struggled because her, her her struggle was lifting it out of the bundler um she wasn't tall enough she had to get it you know chest high and she just wasn't tall enough and those bundles are heavy so she could do it she just couldn't do it for long and it, you know it's just like anything if you're not enjoying it you're not going to do it long let me know what y'all think i know this is a big debate and i still can't say which one's better or worse other than the fact that i feel like it's easier to bag so that's a bunch of uh babbling but it's something that i wanted to uh let you guys in on and um see if y'all can learn from it like I said, the, the bagger is uh, my favorite and Sadie's favorite. So uh, we're gonna use that from now on. I've had some questions about selling the bundler. I'm not ready to sell it yet. Um, but yeah, behind me guys, if y'all hadn't noticed, is a big pile of wood. I have now brought the conveyor out and started piling wood because I've run out of room. Well, I hadn't really run out of room. I just need to start piling here and work my way back up. Let me show you guys. This is as far as I'm going to come to the driveway right here, these pallets. I'm, I might put an IBC tote right here, right here, right here, just to build a barrier so I can stack this high. But you can see I've run out of room this way, so that's why I'm piling high. 
right now i think that's as high as i want to go i'm not sure yet this thing can go go way up i think it has another five foot if i'm guessing the only problem with a five foot is when you lift it up it's going back so it doesn't really help me um going that way it just helps me this way so i'll probably just leave it like it is there i'm going to pull it out and come over here start piling right here um but yeah i was i was waiting as long as i could to start piling guys because yes it dries in piles but it dries better in small piles it's just because it gets more wind and sun so i mean that's just what, the way it is but when you run out of room you got to do what you got to do so the idea is i'm going to use a conveyor pile this section up and just work my way back up to there um and that's what we're going to do uh i try to use the bucket and dump wood in here hoping that it might would be strong enough but it's not so what I've been doing is hand bombing it from the uh, bucket. That's all I got for you guys. Um, another thing I wanted to point out is I do have new hats, guys. I got these made uh, a couple weeks ago. So Foth is firewood on the hill, and then it's got the fire in the middle. He's, I, I really like how these turned out. So I have this, and this is a black hat. And then I have a blue hat that has Foth, and it's in small print on the right-hand side. Um, so I'm going to post those here shortly. Also, I got a new color of shirt. This is a gray shirt. Uh, I really like how this turned out. I really, I really needed a shirt to wear with my olive green hats. So this was it. Um, but thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe. We'll see you next time.